Hey, Joel, where are the marshmallows? Joel, are you okay? Joel? Joel, what's wrong? Joel, stop. Stop, Joel. Primos, welcome back to another episode of Soul Primos. My name is Melvin Diaz. And I'm Joel Romero. And uh, dude, how are you, bro? Dude, I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. Man. I know, it feels like we haven't seen each other in so long because it's been so long. I know, bro. How long has it been? Dude, maybe like two days. <laughs> <laughs> two days too long, baby. Actually, no, it's been longer than you that. You miss me, huh? Truthfully, no. You miss me, huh? Truthfully, no. Just be, just be real with me, you miss me. Okay, there's a lot of things I'll lie about. Not missing you is one of them. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'll say, I'll say this. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, so you do miss me. No, no, I, I don't miss you. Yes. And I wouldn't lie about that shit. I yeah. haven't seen you in possibly a week. Whoa. 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 And I'll say this. You, you, you've, you've gotten upset with me these past couple weeks because I suck at texting back. Right? <laughs> Let's be real. Let's yes, be real. Yes. <laughs> hey, we're, hey, we're vulnerable here. And yeah. Let's lay it all out. And literally, and, and look, and you're right to be upset at everything, and I am very bad at communicating and texting back and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I'm just like a, I'm like a really beautiful girl. You know how it's difficult to get a hold of a very beautiful girl, like a 10? Yeah, yeah. I'm that without the looks. Yeah. I have the personality of a very beautiful girl. No. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no yeah. I don't get mad at you for not texting back, first of all. It's a very specific thing. Yeah. It's a very, it's, if you're going to tell me here, I, I, no, it's, it's all because he's, listen, Melvin's, <laughs> Melvin's one of like the worst people when it comes to showing up on time or showing yeah. up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes with the communication, he like this is one of his, uh, uh, one of his weaknesses. Yeah. A couple of podcasts ago, we talked about strengths and weaknesses. This might be your weakness. Yeah. And possibly, it's not one of your strengths. Yeah, yeah quite, possibly. <laughs> quite possibly. But the reason why I bring it up is because yes. literally as I was driving over here, uh, uh, on the, the news, the, the freaking, the radio host on yeah. Power 106, he was just like, I owe iOS 18, the iPhone 18 or something like that. Yeah. It's coming out. Yeah. And they have a new feature where you can schedule texts. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. It, it, <laughs> Perfect. And I was just like, I was like, dude, that's brilliant. And then the, the co-host was just like, what would you what, what would you schedule? And the guy was like, haha, I would text, I would schedule a bunch of uh, good morning texts to my oh, girls. And, and, my and they're, gosh. they're just like, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up and I was just like, uh, I was like, wow, what a, so I'm gonna ask you, what would you what would you uh, schedule text me? You it was up? like pictures of you. <laughs> pictures <laughs> of me. Of you. <laughs> of you. Just <laughs> of me. You know how back in the day when we first met, I used to FaceTime you all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would do FaceTime. Can you FaceTime? Can you schedule a FaceTime? <laughs> Because you know, sometimes when I before I went to bed, I would just FaceTime you. Yeah, it was the weirdest and, thing. And you're, you're <laughs> it was like before we got close. Yeah, too. I didn't know what to do. Oh, I'm at an Oscar party. What's up? I'm at the red carpet. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you always yeah, at an I'm Oscar the, party? I'm at, the, I'm at the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. It's, What's up? It's like you're always somewhere luxurious. You're always some. You're always someone that requires uh you to be high class. Yes, yes. You're yes. always someone that requires you to be like dressed like very formal and stuff. Some might say I'm a social butterfly, dude. Butterflies. Die very young, man. Okay, and that's very sad. I don't want that to happen to you. Okay. What, what, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what are you trying, <laughs> to say? trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that uh, you know what? what? I will schedule FaceTimes with you. Okay, because I miss doing those things. Because now that we're closer, it's funny when you get close to somebody, you lose a lot of things. Whoa! Whoa. What do you lose? I, I lost. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> ah. <laughs> because now, before when I was trying to get to know you, I had more access to you. Oh, oh, am I spitting? Holy shit. Dude, dude. are you... F what? Dude. <laughs> I'm because when I was trying to get to know you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You recognize that shit, man. Okay. So you were like, he wants more of me. I'm going to give him more of me. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I have all of you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like in a relationship when like... You know how like those, those, uh, these relationship gurus are always like, listen, never stop dating your wife. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's basically what's going on with us. We got married, and then now you're like, I don't want to put in the effort. Hey, babe, I'm, I'm gonna be there at 8 p.m. And at 8 p.m., you're like, Oh, I'm almost there in 35 minutes. And 35 minutes later, you're like, Oh shit, traffic is so bad. I'm like, Shut the fuck up. You do live like 40 miles away <laughs> no, from no, me, dog. No, 
No. <laughs> okay, he does it very far from yeah. But he's he he reminds me of me so much. <laughs> no, because because when I was younger, when I would tell my friends I'm I'm gonna be there at eight, I'm leaving at eight fifteen, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always leave like after I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I when they're like, Hey, what's your ETA? I wait twenty five minutes yeah. to, to cut some of that time off. <laughs> <laughs> so when I do reply, I'm like, oh, it's only 30 minutes, right? Oh my gosh, dude. So 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 I remind you of a younger you yeah. because I am younger than you. No, you're not <laughs> by young, not by much. <laughs> not by much, man. How old do you think you are? Bro, I'm I'm you I'm younger than you though. Okay, like, how old do you think you are? I'm 28. 28? Fucking <laughs> So am I. <laughs> so am I. So we're the same age. No, I'm a, I'm like a month younger than you. See, but I'm more sophisticated, more classier. Like you, you look, look how you dress, man. Well, let's just be real. I'm a I'm a month and ten days younger than you. Okay, and the best things were happening in July. I mean September. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You remind me of a younger of a younger me. No. When I was like in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what your my favorite insult that you ever gave me was. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, you look like Matt Ryan if you drowned. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so <laughs> It was at a live show. <laughs> hey, man, you look like Matt Ryan if you fucking drown, homie. <laughs> and I kind of hurt a little bit, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. I said, I said, I said, I said, you look like Matt Ryan if he drowned. <laughs> and then they found his body five days later. <laughs> I Holy can't believe I said that. I know there was like 36 people there. I know. That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> that's crazy. That's so fucked up. But the people loved it. Dude, that's so mean. Why would I say something like that? Because, man, you just you just don't care about the people you hurt. Okay. You know what I mean? Maybe. You know what they say, though? This is I always like to tell people this when they when they fucking do me dirty. I'm always like, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Realize, realize, realize. Uh, what's another one? <laughs> what's another one? Uh, if you if you don't if you don't love yourself then how can you love someone else? Okay, that's that's yours. <laughs> you, you say that all the I time. Yeah, I yeah. When no one want, no one's even yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. that kind of shit. Hey, you want another soda? <laughs> if you, I'm gonna love someone if I don't even love myself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You know, if it's too hot, get out of the kitchen, baby. Boom, that's good, man. Hey, when push comes to shove, you shove the push, man. What? You ever heard of when push comes to shove? No, when push comes to shove, yeah, but I don't know about the second part. Oh, look, I, this is my favorite one. Okay. Yeah. A master of one. No, <laughs> a master of one. Shut the fuck up. A master of none is no. Wait, what the fuck am I saying? A master of none is uh, oftentimes better than a master of one. No, no a jack of all trades. <laughs> oh, master jack of, of trades. Jack, <laughs> jack of all trades. Master of none. We're often better than a master of one. Yes. People forget that last part or the begin last part. Or 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 <laughs> if we're being real, curiosity killed the cat. Oh, but satisfaction brought it back. Ooh. That's the full. That's the full phrase. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, that reminds <laughs> me of my cats that were murdered. Because yeah. curiosity. Well, I guess curiosity from the wolves. You do have. You do have a cat out Dude, here that my- <laughs> is like missing half its face, <laughs> and he doesn't like being touched or cuddled. And when you go, "Hi, baby," he hisses at you and runs away. Yeah, and um. And the only person that the cat likes is your dad. Yeah, even yeah. though my cat, my dad ran over like his family or some shit. Okay, which is very strange. Like oh, literally, dude. like you know, dude. You know, I found out my dad told my niece when he, uh, he ran to her cat over. So he ran the cat over right and took a picture and everything. I, I, that's all I knew of the story. But then my my niece was like, "Oh, he said he said that uh, he's gonna make ta- uh, tacos de gato." <laughs> which is very dark. And shit, that's right? like some like Latino dad shit, bro. Like I know. Like uh, it, all, I've met many Latino dads, and they're always like, when they have like an animal, like a dog or a cat, it's like, oh man, they like spank it. And they're like, yeah. this will make a bunch of tacos right here, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, the animals are like, what the fuck? fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, back the fuck hey, up. Hey, yo, what the fuck, okay. homie? Back up, cut. <laughs> down, throw my, throw it's my. like, damn, dude. It's like it's it's weird how they don't see these uh, beautiful creatures as like that they they don't have, they don't think they have feelings or anything. Initially, or initially, they, that's how they feel. But like after a while, like Latino. Dads are like the most like soft when it comes to to like little critters. You know what I mean? Well, not my dad. My dad's track record is pretty pretty goddamn bad. Okay. And I've lost a lot of animals to my dad. See, I was I've always waited for that moment. You're bleeding. I've always waited for yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you want to take a pause and I'm find bleeding. out where this blood comes up? Am I bleeding? No. Oh, uh, anyways. I have blood right here. Look, fuck. I know. It's, it's like every time I'm around you, I'm bleeding in some you're way, shape, or form. You're on your period, though. 
Are you, uh, do you have, uh, let me say, how do I say this? Do you have your uh, Red Wings or what's it called? Okay, I don't, this might be graphic. So okay. if you're a loved one, Warning. if you're a loved one, pause, yes, skip. Yes, yes. You ever go down on a girl when she's on? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Whoa, Whoa! So Primos is a family. This channel. Is, that's what I'm saying. If you're like you know a uh, 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 fucking a uh, partner that I'm you know sharing my life with, family, mother, skip this part. You mean you kind of lingus? Yes. While while the 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 the, the, young, the lady is uh is the time of the, is that time of the month? T- yeah, T O M. Time of month. Time of Have the you month. ever lick, uh, just kind of lingus? Vacation. No. no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, me and you are very different men. And you have. Yes. Okay. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How did we get to this point? It's, you just brought, you just fucking randomly fucking, we're talking about pets and cats, and you're like, have you ever eaten uh, bloody pussy? Hey! <laughs> that's what you said. That's what, said. That's what I said. That's, that's that. how I meant it. Mine was like more of like a metaphor. Oh, okay. Because I for speak what? in fucking riddles, I speak in tongue, I speak backwards, I speak all these you fucking things. T- you definitely use your tongue. Uh, <laughs> Come on, man. You know me, baby. Yeah, my <laughs> but you, you, what, what that mouth do, man? Dude, man, it does a lot of things. What, what does it do? Uh, it, it usually uh, fights for the freedom of speech. Dude, that's my line, bro. No, you, you, go, go, you, you gotta, fight. You fight for rights, <laughs> equal rights, <laughs> not just rights. Yeah, I, I fight for the First Amendment. Uh, okay, okay. Do what what else that is? Fight? Yes, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to own your land. And okay, shit. what's the first, what's the Second Amendment? Uh, right to buy arms. Damn. What's the third? See, you only you only care know. about the rights that affect you, man. I don't fucking know. Oh, uh, thou shalt not kill. I think it was that. Huh? Oh, that's commandments. Oh yes, dude. What's the first commandment? Thou shalt not kill. You know, some of the commandments are pretty like pretty basic, but they, it's like very. Thou yeah. shalt not bed the thy neighbor's wife or something. Yeah, it's like don't cheat, don't fucking steal, don't fucking kill that guy. But it's like it's true, man. You shouldn't be doing any of those things. At least yeah. that's what I believe. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> well, you're just different. I'm, I was about to say that I'm like built like not like the normal man. You're built in a, in a way that is uh, not the same as the other guys. You really think that way? No. Oh, then why would you say that? I don't know. Do you really feel like I'm different than most guys? I think you are. Yeah. Why? I think physically you're different from All most right. guys. Okay. What does that mean? I think aesthetically you're different from most guys. Oh, because I have like a I have like a style and have like a. The way I moved, the way I moved. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. I used to hate it when I used to go to church. And the fucking, those people giving me, giving like the fucking, uh, the speeches, they were like, we're not a breath at their, as, as they're speaking and they're swallowing. They're like, I used to drive me nuts, man. I used to drive me fucking nuts, bro. In church? <laughs> yes. I'm like, he's doing that shit again, mom. He's like, and then you just hear on their fucking, you just hear on the mic and shit. It's fucking disgusting, bro. <clears throat> have you ever have you ever when you used to go to church did you ever like uh get on the podium and lead a uh, prayer no i used to read the bible in front of the church though it, on, on the podium yeah, yeah yeah i used to read the bible i was just like hey can we open up to psalm or and then i fucking open up that shit and start reading it in english or spanish in spanish whoa in spanish. you can read spanish yeah dude my spanish was really good my spanish was really good back then yeah even now like if i if you give me some words to speak in spanish i could read that shit really nice if it flows off the tongue whoa. but i used to uh, i was <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? i hate when people go when i used to uh, <laughs> oh my god because <laughs> you just <laughs> went through it come on why well, no because it's true man like i used to uh this happened a couple of times but you know all the boys of the church would go and uh we would sing in front of the, we would we would sing in front of the congregation man and I remember I was up there, and I just felt like I just felt amazing. I was singing the word of God. Yeah. In front of everybody, and my parents were there. Yeah. Obviously, everybody was there. Yeah, yeah. And it was a very special thing at that time. I think there's I think there's something beautiful in a community, uh, and especially like a large group, uh, enjoying one singular thing. And I think it's like the same beauty as like when you go see a, a movie in a packed theater. Yeah. And everyone laughs at the same time for a joke. Everyone yeah. gasps at the same time. Everyone, like, you know, I, I, in the climax that happens at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I think it's a beautiful experience. You know, you know what's so different about me, man? You remember that scene in The Joker? Where he's like, he's like it's at the comedy club and everybody's laughing. And then he's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. He's like laughing at the wrong, at the wrong time. Yeah. That's me, baby. That's me. That's me. When I go watch a movie in the theaters and everybody's laughing at one part, I wait till they stop laughing and I start laughing. Yeah, you laugh at like at the end of the movie when it's just like directed by yeah. Martin Scorsese. You go, <laughs> 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 
And then everybody's like, you know, your mind is different, dude. I'm built different. No, your you know what I used to do when I was younger too. <laughs> Dude, it because it involves a movie theater, all right? Yeah, yeah. I used to, uh, me and my brothers, we used to go, you know, to these midnight screenings. We used to wait in line, watch the movies, and then we used to have straws. And then we used to get, a, the, we used to get like, the, the, the fucking napkins, right? We used to bite a little piece off and, like... Spit balls. Just, just throw it up in the air, and then it just comes back and hits somebody. What the fuck? Hey, 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 hey. And then I would just say... You're a piece of shit. Am I? Yes. Am I? What the fuck? You you would do this in high school? <laughs> and in school at a younger time in my life. What the hell? Dude? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, what the what hell? hell? What the hell? What, what the, the hell, bro? You never did shit like that? No. <laughs> Actually, I did do this. Oh. Like, no, I used to, so I used to in high school. This was in high school. This is my junior year. I was you know going down a, a very dark path. I used to have this big truck, right? I used to drive this big truck. And uh, what you call it? my little my parents had just got my little brother water guns. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, I would go around school and I would see my homies and I would lower the window and a, like a drive by but with the water guns and they'd be like, oh, what is that? Yeah. I'm like, it's just water. Yeah. What's <laughs> up? This guy I was like, it's piss. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, it's water from the sink. It's yeah. not piss. And then uh, and then one day. Uh, what you called? We were at the mall, and then my it, the the water guns were in the back seat, and my friends like we should just spray people in the corner, oh and I to this day I it's my biggest regret because I didn't say no, and they they were spraying people in the corner using my car, and I just you know it's it's, it's something that I'm ashamed of. I I'm not as proud as I, as I am as you ruining people's movie going experience. And I didn't ruin circles. anything. I didn't ruin anything. You just said, hey, hey, what the fuck? The people were getting mad and fighting each other. Yeah, I remember when I, when, when they were doing that, I was like this. Fucking love. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, motherfucker. Hey, what the fuck? Who's doing that? And I'm like this. No, you were like this. Puppet master. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, hey, hey, what the fuck? What are you doing? Goddamn fucking kids. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, my gosh, dude. Bro. Oh, my God. But that's, that's so <laughs> stupid. That is, what you did is worse because you're wedding people in like a... a, a I did like it. a greater surface area. I did it. No, I was strangers. I should have told my, my buddies like, hey, that's... Nah, don't do that because it's my car. But I was just wedding my homies. But at that age, you weren't... You didn't know how to stand up for anything. Because mm-hmm. you know what they say. If no, at that age, I, I, I'll admit, I thought it was funny. But, you know, looking back at it, I'm like, man, that was so silly and stupid. Why the fuck did I do that shit? Because... You know, it, it, it's impossible for someone to grow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And realize that it, some of the things that they've done in the past were mistakes. Yeah. That's possible. You do know that, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> but I also know that if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so yeah. stupid. No, yeah. it's one of my biggest regrets. And, uh, um, what more do you... Tell me more about your regrets. I think this is very good. I think... I think when I was like at that age, when I was 16, 15, 16, 17, maybe even a little bit of 14, I, uh, I think like I had just gotten my license and I was like going everywhere <clears throat> and I was like hanging out with a lot of like dangerous folks and a lot of people that I had no business hanging out with, but they just liked me because I was funny, you know what I mean? I was tall. So, and I, I regret like uh, spending so much time with those types of people and like I, uh, I'm very, very grateful that nothing bad ever happened. And, you know, they, uh, my life wasn't derailed in some tremendous way. Yeah. Because it very easily could have. Hanging out with bad people was a slippery slope. Yeah. Who you hang out with? Hey, hey. Another oh, phrase that I came no. up with in the same grade? Show me who you hang out with, and I'll tell you who you are. Uh, I, oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Took you a little bit of thing. Huh? No, because I was like, well, is he right? Is he true? Is he spitting? And I think most of the time you talk, you are spitting. Like physically, yes. Yeah, you spit a lot, yeah. There was this, uh, that reminds me, I think I've said this before, but there was a, a teacher, <laughs> my seventh grade algebra teacher, uh-huh. he would spit a lot. His name was Mr. Kenny, right? Yeah. And then he would call the first rows, first two rows of his class the soak zone. Because he, he would always just spit, just spit when he talks. And he was German, right? So he would be talking. And I just remember he always had saliva. And he had, you know those guys when they talk, they have saliva on the side oh, of their mouth. So it's like that white shit, right? Yeah. And he, just want, he just wanted to lick it. Just like, just lick it, just lick it, just lick it. Like, get rid of it. But it just, like, it would just kind of overflow. And it would always just spit in the first two rows. I remember when that shit was, I, I know what you're talking about. I remember when I first, uh, when I first saw that, I must have been, I was, like, really young. Maybe, like, first, second grade, maybe kindergarten. And uh, I saw it in a teacher, and I, I said, I told my older sister, 
was four years older than me, and I'm like, what is that white shit around his mouth? And my fucking sister was like, oh, that means they're sick. What? And they're going to die soon. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. oh, no. And then we went to church, and the priest... This bald priest, yeah. he had that, oh. and I was like, I was like, mom, he's sick, he's gonna die soon. She, she's like, shut the fuck up, me. And I was just like, and the whole time I'm like, no, my priest, he's gonna die. <laughs> Did you tell him? No, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, it's like me, it's like <laughs> confession is just like priest, you're gonna die soon. As a little boy, that'd be so, so creepy. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That would have been that would have been a great story. That would have been a great story if you're in the confession. Oh, you're just like, you're gonna die and save you're sick. Gonna die in seven days, right? Come on, you gotta think about these things when you're a young kid, man. I used to lie all the fucking time. You used to lie? I used to, dude, I remember I was you're still lying. <laughs> <laughs> you're still lying. I remember telling this girl in, in, in uh, okay, not high school, middle school, one of those, right? High school, middle school, one of these. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But I remember, I think I wanted her attention. I think maybe. So I told her that I was gonna, that I had cancer, I was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and I, and I told her, it was on MySpace, and I told her I was gonna die possibly. I only have three months to live, and then she was like, "Dude, that sucks." I thought she said, no fucking "That's word. all she said." Dude, that do that sucks, and I thought she was gonna be like, "Oh, we should hang out before then, before you die," but she was like, "Dude, that sucks," and then I just nothing. It never led to anything. How do you think I felt? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> yeah. the- that explains so much about you. <laughs> you lie for attention. No. You lie for attention, dog. No, I was a young kid saying oh this. Not the 28, the 28 year old man you see before yourself would never do that shit. <laughs> oh my God. That's when it hit you up. I'm like, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, I'm traveling. I'm in Wisconsin right now. I just uh, I just got robbed. <laughs> so you're, you just lie. You lie. Oh, so, no. Oh, I almost, I almost died in Wisconsin. That's a lie, bro. Because that's how I get a text back from you. <laughs> Uh, whoa. Things I'm like, what are we doing with so pretty much? <laughs> but was I wrong for saying this? Fuck well, yes. Oh, like, okay. Wait, were you wrong for what? For saying this to the woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Very wrong. Listen, that's when I, th- I think like you live and you learn. I think you're capable of growth. I think people are, not you. Um, uh, and I think you have achieved a lot of physical growth. <laughs> like you've grown physically. With, with what? 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 Horizontally? Bro, you're like your dick. No, no, like my... Oh, oh like, like, like your dick. Horizontally. Because I, I, I don't see you fat. I'm just saying about your you're dick. You're fucking... <laughs> I got dick. <laughs> I, got dick. <laughs> I, got, I got dick brain, man. I got dick... Okay, because yeah. normally when you talk about with, you're always talking about your fucking dick, man. No, I'm talking about my belly. I don't see a belly. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I see you, and I don't. See I think him. growth, like physical growth, yes, height, okay. yes, yes, yes. I, I thought I was just thinking about height. I was thinking about width. I wasn't trying. I wasn't a fa- no fat jokes here. No, no, no. I was. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when people say that when they got when they're stunned verbally. They yeah, don't know yeah, how to yeah. resist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut shut up! Man. Shut up! Oh my gosh, dude! <sighs> if you guys haven't already, we're gonna Twitch stream after this. Obviously, you, you know you're gonna get the episode after we do. But go ahead and follow us at uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash Yes, 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 yes. yes. We'll be Twitch streaming there. Um, and yeah, we're trying to bring it back. Yeah, and we're trying to fucking kick it with y'all because yeah. we love y'all, and you guys always send so much positive messages. And boom. It's a good way to hang out with us and kick yeah. it. Yeah, you know, I was gonna ask you this, bro. And yes. this happened yesterday. I think it happened yesterday or the day before. But I know that uh, this is like a, a subject that we talk about. So <clears throat> I don't know if you heard about this, right? So there's an actor uh, from yeah. there's an actor from uh, the TV show called Power. Yes, you know the one that created was created by like Fifty Cent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, it's like really popular. And the actor's named Ty Ty James, right? Ooh, Ty Ty James. And yeah. he... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, 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 the actor's name is Michael Rainey Jr. Yeah. Right? One of the biggest characters of the show. He's like super famous, right? Yeah. He's, he's great in it. And he recently went on one of a Twitch... Uh, a famous Twitch streamer oh, named yes. Ty Ty James. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and it's... Um, and uh, it's like the strangest thing because it was like a little room. Like a tiny little room. I don't know if you saw it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah tiny it. little yeah, room. Yeah. And for those who didn't see it, it's a tiny little room. And the, the, the Twitch streamer, Ty Ty, is on the chair like this. And he has three little babies in front of him. Like little like three-year-olds, four-year-olds, six-year-olds. You know what I mean? 
And I think his father is to the right of him. A friend is right there. And the famous actor is right there. And Ty Ty's little sister, younger sister. Who, I say younger sister, but she's probably like in her 20s or whatever. Yeah. She comes out of nowhere, puts her head on the actor's shoulder and grabs his crotch. And just goes like, what's up? Like, what's up? And yeah. is groping him. And the actor goes, oh. And, and no one notices it. Except for obviously the actor. And he's like, he's looking at the camera and he's like kind of like smiling nervously. And he's like, oh, okay, oh, okay. And like he just grabs her hand and, and he's just like, <clears throat> you could tell he's so uncomfortable because he just got SA'd, right? Yeah. On camera, on live stream. And then another friend comes and just like puts his arm around him, like, bro, that shit was crazy. And uh, what you called? And it's so crazy because today the live the live streamer Ty Ty put out a, a, a response and said, I don't condone that. That was so terrible. I, you know, I condemn the actions of my little si younger sister. Like that's that I don't con I don't condone that at all. And then the actor came out and he's just every because he's like, uh, what happened was was unacceptable. And I'm not gonna take this lightly because I know that if I would have done that, I would be in serious trouble right now. Yeah. So uh, I have to act accordingly. So basically saying he might like press charges or something like yeah. that, right? And then I'm like, okay, yeah, obviously he just got essayed. But then I'm looking through these comments, and 50% are like, yeah, you know, uh, 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 essay against men isn't talked about enough. Like he he should press charges. He should do this in support of you know the actor. And then other mostly women were like, he was laughing. Yeah, I've never seen anyone laugh through while getting essayed. Yeah. And then I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then obviously other people are like, you're tripping, you're crazy. Like that, he, he's laughing because he's nervous, he's uncomfortable, he yeah. doesn't know what to do. Yeah. And for, uh, from what I read, he left 20 minutes later. Yeah. And even though the stream, you know, streams are like three, long, four, or five yeah. hours long, he left 20 minutes later. Yeah. And, um, and dude, what do you what, what are your thoughts on that? Dude, I think it's oh, uh, I mean, it's true. People, people, the uh, guys, guys in general don't get it. It's not like even those girls that were commenting on probably the post. Yeah, they saw. I was like, bro, what's what's the problem here? Like, you're a man, bro. Like, yeah. what are you a bitch or some shit? Yeah. Because as a man, I think uh, you think that if that happens for some reason, I think people think that if that happens to a guy, like. Like, it's not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's, there, that can't happen to them as far as, like, when it happens to a woman, it's gross, it's disgusting, it's terrible. But when the guy, when a woman forces themselves on a man, it's not, it's not, it's like, it's not taken seriously. Yeah. Like, the, like even if the guy has, like, oh, it made me feel this way, I felt gross, I felt used, I felt like a piece of meat. Yeah. When a guy says that, I think most, like, I think a, a lot of men, too, and a lot of women just don't take that, don't take that seriously. Yeah. Like, exactly. I, I saw what she did, and she was like... Like, no one really noticed because she, like, grabbed him and she was, like, her face was so close up against him. And then, mm -hmm. dude, I would probably feel the same way. I was, like, I wouldn't be, like, hey, what the fuck? What are yeah, you doing? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because hey, they're in front of the kids, Yeah, bro. dude. And and he, you're not going to be, like, yo, don't touch me in yeah. front of three little babies. Yeah. Like, in front of a live stream that has thousands of viewers. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and this is this is your 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 friend's little sister. And, and, and when shit like that happens, it's like, you can't really believe it's happening sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, So he was probably like, dude, we're streaming, there's kids, there's fucking the, yeah. the brothers right there. Is this really fucking happening? Yeah. So obviously, yeah, with some guys, I think this is more of a guy thing maybe, when they get uncomfortable, they just like, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. like laugh. They, it's like they just nervous laugh. Struggles. It's nervous. It's yeah. nervous as fuck. You know, and I think, yeah, I think I would have reacted the same way. I wouldn't want to push her off and be yeah. like... Like just get super incredibly angry yeah, and in front yeah. of the stream, in front of the kids too. Yeah, like, yeah. I think he he handled it the best way he could possibly. Like that, that's such a nightmare situation because the per, the person that's sexually assaulting you, there's three little babies in front of you, thousands of people are watching on live stream. Yeah, the older brother's right there, the yeah. father of your assaulter is right yeah. there, and you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. So he's probably just like, what am I even doing here, yeah. bro? You, it's funny because like I think the, the women that are kind of talking down on him or saying that it's like most of them were older women yeah I bet right and yeah. then I feel like if a, like the Rosie verse and then like uh, the girl was laughing too yeah. they don't have like it would make sense for them it's like dude of course she's like because she would be uncomfortable like yeah. she was probably in shock and this is about with the guy yeah. it's like and what, really, it what really bothered me this morning I saw 50 Cent yeah. he's basically his boss right yeah I love 50 but he posted it about it and he's just like in his caption, he was like, "Bro, back in my day, this is just a woman being assertive. This is just a move, woman flirting, just a little, a little aggressively. Yeah. He'll be all right. He ain't gonna do nothing." Yeah. And it's just like, motherfucker, dog. Like this is this this, bro. This would never happen in any other community. Like, 
like I, I don't know, man. I was just like, bro, like you you're you're the you're the boss. You you signed the checks for him, bro. Yeah. Like why are you going to social media over this shit, dog? Like yeah. You don't know unless maybe he talked in person with him and he was just like maybe the actor's like yeah, I'm just posting about it. Like I, I don't really care. I don't really mind. Unless that. It would be crazy for your boss to just be like, hey, bro, stop tripping, dog. Yeah, dog that's tripping? what I'm saying. Why are you tripping, bro? That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, bro, dude, that, dog, she, dog, you should be grateful. Girl. I know. want to do that shit. Like, it's bad enough that she did it. It's, it's like way worse. Just the environment that it was in. Yes. It makes it like so yes. much fucking it's, worse. Yeah, it's one thing if you're at the club. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? But it's like, bro, like we're live streaming and there was three little K- babies in, in the yeah. front, bro. Like, and then you think, I, I mean, I'm assuming that it was in like his house or baby. Uh, was it that the streamer's house or what? Was I'm pretty it? sure it was the streamer's house because his whole family was there. Yeah, right. So yeah. it's like you go to someone's house and they're fucking just yeah. doing that to you it, uh, with the daughter. It's, it's a yeah. sh- horrible situation. Can you imagine like like bringing over someone, bringing like not only a friend over to your house, but your friend happens to be famous. Yeah, and then one of your siblings does something like that, bro. I can't even imagine the embarrassment and the fucking. The the anger that I would have, bro. How, like how crazy. I mean, I wonder. I wonder if she's done that before too. Like, oh, she has to have. Yeah, right. And one of the comments was like, if she did this knowing that they're on live stream, dog. Yeah. Imagine what she does behind closed doors, bro. To someone that's famous too. Yeah. Like just openly, yeah. not just famous, but in front of a live stream. Yeah. Who's oh, his brother's like a big streamer too. Yeah. It's like there's so much eyes on the situation, and yeah. you're still. I'm totally disregarding any of that, and you're still doing that action in front of so many people. And the kids. The kid thing is always like, that's like, what are you doing, man? Like, even if they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. You don't do that in front of kids, bro. Yeah. Like, just, that's what, what were the kids doing there in the first place? I think, I don't know. They might have been like the younger siblings of the streamer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because that was kind of weird. Like, even before that happened, like, I, I saw a little bit of it, and then, like, the kids were there, and I don't know exactly what they were doing, but it's like, why? There was because they look super young. They were very young. They, they must have been like because it was like two little boys and a little girl. The little boys must have been like three years old. The little yeah. girl must have been like five or six. Like very very young. Yeah, very young. But to be in that type of environment, bro, and like as an actor, bro, like I get it. The the Ty Ty, he's a big streamer and stuff like that. And maybe that they might be friends in real life, but like as a big actor, you show up and you're like, what the fuck am I doing in this little room? I know. He must be regretting it so much. Oh, 100%. Today. Like, what the I world? wonder what, yeah. And hopefully, it, like, what comes out of it is just like support or, uh, I mean, yeah. he, look, she didn't go too, I mean, it was kind of gross. It was gross what she did. She didn't go too crazy, like, anything super, you know, it, it, that happened and then nothing escalated from that. So I just hope that people aren't, like, you know, giving him mean comments or just kind of putting yeah. him down and not, you know, taking that experience and maybe minimizing, you know, yeah. like it just look, like, it, look, uh, uh, people could be like, Hey, like that, that, you know, that, might, that just my people could be, ex- will be giving excuses up the ass all, yeah. over this. But at the bottom line is consent. Yeah. It, it may be, they, maybe they were being flirtatious beforehand. I don't know. Maybe. And she thought that that was just like, you know, that was in the cards for them. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's fucking consent. Consent and also like handle yourself properly in front of a live stream. Yeah. Feel like, I don't know, man. Also, look, if they were flirting hardcore before that, yeah. the subtle thing is like maybe go up in front of them and just like tap them or something, something subtle. Like, that, yeah. like, like, re- like, but you could tell by his reaction. I don't none think of that none happened. of that happened. Yeah. I think it was just, yeah, this just random girl just came up to him and just grabbed them and he's just like, Whoa. And he's looking around, and he's just like, like you could see his mind working. Like, what the Is fuck, what the fuck am I doing? Shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like Ty, Ty is literally talking, and you can be like, Ty, look at this. What? You yeah, know what I mean, like, yeah. it just it's a fucked up situation. It reminds you of like, I mean, this is different with like the Terror Cruise thing when he got like yeah. uh, groped by yeah. that. Uh, I think it was it was like a man, a like an agent or producer. Yeah, producer. yeah, and then he got a lot of a lot of hate. He when got he a came lot out. of shit, bro, dude. This one time I went to a party, man. I think I had just turned 21 or 22. I went to a friend's party and I've never been to his house before and, and it was great and all that shit. Bro, it's literally, quite literally, there's times where I can't sleep at night because I think about this. Not because of the, not, nothing traumatic, but just the awkwardness. Yeah. The awkwardness. I just, to this day, this must, this must be maybe six, seven years ago. To this day, I cannot... Every time I think about it, I just physically wince, bro. I physically wince. I go to this friend's party. We're having a good time. I'm seeing a bunch of old friends I haven't seen in a long time. So we're reconnecting. We're having drinks and stuff like that. And the oh, my friend, who's the owner of the house and his family, his family's house, he's there. The, the party starts getting packed. 
he has a beautiful home. And it starts getting packed, and it's just like, you know, you, in order to like navigate, you have to like, excuse me, excuse, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you navigate. Tell me why this, this woman comes and sees me. I don't recognize her. She sees me, she smiles, and I smile, and she grabs my, my crotch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She grabs my crotch, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, oh shit. What? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm like, bro, she just grabbed my dick. Yeah. And they're like, what? What? And my friend was like, what? What? He's like, she just grabbed my dick. My friend's like, who? I'm like, her. Yeah. And he's like, no, that's my mom. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 And I'm like, no, no, her. And she's like, yeah, yeah, the, the cheetah print. That's my mom. And tell me why my heart just stopped. And I was just like, no, 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 not her. Her, the, 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 wow. the. The, the, and I just, I was stuttering. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, the girl by the kitchen. And he just stayed quiet. And I just stayed quiet and I never spoke to him again. Wow. I, I, I just so mortified. And, and, and looking back at it, he had told me like, yeah, my, my, my mom is, my parents just recently divorced, like, you know, this and this and that. And bro, to this day, bro, I, I just, it's something that just gets, sends shivers down my spine of the awkwardness, bro. Yeah. Of just the pure awkwardness. Yeah. Because we're pretty good friends. And I, that ruined our friendship, bro. Well, did you tell him afterwards? No. I, I haven't talked to him since that night. Yeah. I haven't talked to him since that night. And it's just like, bro, it, it was, it's something I can't even, bro. If I saw it in a movie or a book, I'd be like, ah, that would never happen. Dog, it was something that I just can't ever get over. Just, not not the her invading my privacy and kind of basically essaying yeah. it, but like just the awkwardness of it. That's what my you, mom. What I you, still remember his words. That's my mom. Yeah, dude, what a horrible situation me involved in. What are you What are you supposed to do in that? I left. Like if, if, if I left twenty, I literally what the, the actor did. I left twenty thirty yeah, minutes later. Because I mean, if if you tell him like, hey, no, your mom did that. And what if the mom was like, not if, what are you talking yeah. about? Why what would I do that? Fuck? Obviously, she, he's going to believe the mom. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And be like, well, Malvin, why the fuck are you saying that shit? Yeah, so yeah. I feel like it was like a lose. Like, obviously, that's terrible. It's a lose, lose, But then lose. it's like, if you try to explain it, no one's, the dude's not going to believe you. He might think you're even weird. Yeah. And then obviously, he's going to believe the mom. So, yeah. and it's like, and I, I'll be honest with you, she, she was an attractive lady. Yeah. So if it wasn't his mom, because back then I was single, if it wasn't his mom, I'd be like, Damn, I got you know. Yeah, I have a I got a play to play to have at the end of the night. You yeah. know what I mean? Like this is gonna be a pretty cool night. Yeah, I because I you know I love older women and this is gonna be a pretty cool night. Yeah. It's the fact that fucking it was his mom that like, and just the way his reaction was like that's my mom and I was so loud about it too. Yeah. She just grabbed my fucking dick, but I was like smiling. Yeah, because I was shocked. Oh my god, Jeez, was he drunk or something? I don't know. Hey. I don't know, but I I was just like I went to go tell my friend. And he just laughed. Obviously, it's a funny, funny story. But I was like, I think I'm gonna go, man. I don't yeah. want to be here anymore. Like, I, I can't face my friend. I can't definitely can't face her. Like, I gotta go. Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> yeah, I must have been maybe twenty. Twenty, a little baby, dude. Yeah, baby, How old was she? You think? Oh, she must have been because my my friend was old, like two years older than me. So she must have been in her forties, maybe, maybe, Jesus. maybe, maybe even late thirties. No, early forties for sure. Yeah. Damn, dude. I haven't, I've had one, not, it's not, it's not as intense, but I remember just around here where I grew up and shit, I went to uh, Circle K and we bought 12, four locals for me and the homies. We we're going to drink them all. And then it's weird. I went outside and then this older lady was like, Oh, you guys are going to have a fun ass time tonight, right? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, she's like, Oh, can you give me a four loco? And I was like, uh, Okay, fine. Cause it was like 12. I was like, We don't really need 12. Yeah. And then we gave it to her and she's like, Ooh. And then she literally bent over, started like grinding on me, and I just felt fucking. I felt so uncomfortable, dude. Even yeah. though she was pretty too, yeah, yeah. but I'm like, bro, I'm with my friends. I'm out here. I'm just trying to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like grinding on me. And she's like, what? What? You don't like it? And I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you? And she wasn't like, she wasn't like a like a homeless like a fucking weird ass fucking lady. And she seemed like you know she she was like normal, right? Yeah. But I think uh, I don't know. Maybe just because we were young and. These women are just like maybe trying to take advantage of these older women, and maybe they're in a dark place, like going through divorce and shit. Yeah. But it's still like you know, if we told this to other people, they'd be like, "It was wrong." Yeah, it was wrong. Yeah. Well, you should grab your dick. I mean, that one, I guess, it had repercussions with the friendship, but with mine, it's like, yeah, she grinded on you, so what? And I've had that happen before, like some, some like, 
some other bars where like I I went out with friends and then one of the girls like started dancing on me and then I remember I was trying to avoid it so much because I don't really like her like that you know what I mean and then like I was like she was twerking on me and everybody was like yeah 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 and I was like chill chill I was trying to go play pool and shit and then yeah. she kept on following me because I don't know she kept on following me and then we had the same friend group so I was like why are you being weird I'm like bro I just don't want to get grind I, I don't I don't yeah. I don't, I don't want this yeah. is that okay yes yes I do yes. not want this yeah yeah, yeah. Is that okay for y'all? Yeah. And then they think you're weird sometimes. Yeah, they think you're gay and yeah. stuff like that. It's just like, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but that's just not who I am. That's yeah. not what I am. Yeah. I just, what's so wrong? I don't want a girl yeah. to just grind up on me right now. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to play pool, and I haven't seen you in a long time. I don't I don't want this. I never he's looking like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a very weird situation to be put in. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's it's like the most awkward shit. I remember when I celebrated my 25th birthday, I, I celebrated at this rooftop rooftop <laughs> in, in Hollywood. And a bunch of my close friends were there, and my, my girlfriend was there, and like fucking uh, this white girl, and she she was pretty attractive, but like this white girl came out to me, and she was like, it's your birthday? And I was like, yeah. And I'm sitting down, and I was like, yeah. And she's like super close, and like my knee's right here, and she's like she's she's like slowly getting closer to me. To where her crotch is on my knee. Yeah. Ooh. And I'm like, I'm thinking like, dude, my girl's over there. She's gonna, if she sees it, she's gonna get pissed. Yeah. So I go like this. Yeah. I go like, I go like, bro, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then she just boom, she sits no. on my leg like that. And she's like, How old are you turning? And she puts her hands on my shoulders. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then my friend sees this and she, he's like, Hey, get up, get up. Yeah. yeah. Dude, get up. He doesn't want you here. Leave. Yeah. And I was like, thanks, bro. Like that. And, Cause I'm thinking like, bro, if my girl sees this, yeah. she's not gonna believe that I didn't want. Cause she's like across the bar, yeah. getting more drinks. She's not gonna believe that I didn't want this, yeah. and it's gonna ruin my whole night and ruin my whole birthday. Yeah. So I was just like, bro, I, dude, please don't. I'm like, I don't know you. Please don't. I don't want to push this white girl. Yeah. Cause we're in like a fancy neighborhood. I don't want to push this white girl. And then when when she could. At any point, she'd be like, oh, he pushed me. And then when I stand up, who's the security going to believe? This big Latino motherfucker yeah. or this dainty little white girl? Yeah. So so I got I, it just really bothered me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, not not every guy is going to want to enjoy your fucking presence yeah. in a sexual way, yeah. you fucking weirdo, you fucking creep. Yeah. Oh, man, it just pisses me off, you know what I'm saying? Like, because... Cause, because when guys and girls go like, well, it's, you should be grateful, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Dog, what happened to consent, you bitch? Is double, you double standard, dumb fucking idiot? I know. I think they might think as guys that like these fucking, these dumb ads just only think with their dick at all exactly. times. Exactly. And then like these fucking loser guys are like, oh, I, I'd be happy if I were you. Yeah, yeah you would, loser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking yeah, you. You horny ass motherfucker. Yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. horn dog. Yeah, of course. I know you would, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, so. But I'm not you, bitch. Yeah. It just pisses me off, dog. It's like a fucking, it, it, it really is like a fucking, uh, uh, uh. A uh, sore spot for me where these motherfuckers defending these types of actions. Are. Yeah, sometimes you just want to go out and hang out with your friends yes. and just that. Yes. Especially if you have a girlfriend yes. that you love. Yes. Why the fuck would you want this? And yeah, and it's just, it'll make the whole night awkward. And then when she, my girl came back, I told her and she was like, did you do something that made her think that you're single? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm fucking, this is a lose-lose situation. This fucking weirdo fucking cunt fucking j just uh, assaults me and yeah. I'm the one in trouble. <laughs> and I got pissed off and I had to go to the bathroom and cool off because I'm like, bro, this is, it's my birthday. My friends are here. You know even when I mean? you do the right thing. Yeah, even yeah. when I do the right thing, bro. Hey, but listen, we love our people. <laughs> hey, dude, hey, look. Hey, consent is Consent is beautiful, dude. The main word for today's episode, like it, it, whether you're a guy, girl, you're asexual, you're gender fluid, bro, don't do weirdo shit. Yeah. Don't do weirdo shit and always have consent. Fuck, yeah. man. Yeah. Spitting, maybe. Yeah. 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 Anyways. <laughs> hey, shout out to your friend, though, the one that was like at the fuck Oh, yeah. Home. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, it's one of those moments where I, even when I hang out with him today, I'm like, man, he always has my back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those those types of friends are important because he could be also he could be like, well, it's a girl. I don't want. He was really aggressive with her uh, verbally, not yeah. physically. He's like, don't. What are you doing? Get out of here. Yeah. You know. And what, what I mean? she said, she's like, what? She's like, yeah. She was like, what? What? I was just being friendly. Yeah. Friend? He's like, that's friendly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had a his. He had a friend that's also my friend. That's a girl. And she was like, you fucking weird old bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Who does that shit, slut? Yeah. yeah. And then she was like, okay, okay. She walks away. 
She she acted like she had no idea what she, she did yeah wrong. she acted like she's like what did I do wrong it's just like bro you just, bro my knee probably smells like you now like that's Ugh. you know what I mean like that's yeah. not I I don't like like bro if I, dude if I asked for it and you did that perfect but I didn't I don't even know you and yeah. you just did it randomly like I wasn't flirting with you or anything you just asked me if it's your birthday I said yeah and then and then you did that and you're like how old are you turning and I was like bro get the fuck off me dog I don't know what's wrong with it I, you know I don't like being touched either yeah, yeah, so yeah. like. So, I don't, I don't give a fuck if you're fucking the hottest person in the world. If you if you don't, if you touch me without me knowing, I'm I'm not gonna like that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And like that's happened to me before, where like girls are like they got up on me, and I'm just like, please don't touch me. And they're like, what are you gay? Yeah. They, no, they go, do you have a girlfriend? And, I, and at the time when I was single, I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you're gay? And I'm like, no. Yeah. You smell like alcohol. Like you smell <laughs> like my dad, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like I yeah. told that to a girl one time. I'm like, you smell like my alcoholic father, dog. Yeah. Please get away from me. And she almost slapped me. Really? And I'm just like, oh, you're slapping me for fucking invading my fucking privacy? <sighs> no, Let me just calm down. Let me calm down, bro. <laughs> Let me calm no, down. Sure, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. We gotta defend ourselves. We gotta yeah. be like, hey, don't touch me. Like, I don't want like to be touched. Yeah, and then you gotta yeah, yeah. you gotta give them a reason why you don't like to be touched. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like, bro, I don't have to give you no fucking reason, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. I would t- I would never touch. That's why I stopped touching you on the shoulder. No, no. With So obviously with friends you do that and to stuff me like too. that. Uh-huh. You do that to me too. What, touch you? If I touch you on your shoulder and you're like, hey, don't touch me. Yeah, but that's that's more for a bit. Uh, that's more for a bit. So it's like, oh, please don't touch me. But like, uh, you know, with strangers, I it just, I don't like, I don't, I get uncomfortable when people get too close to me too. Yeah. And I, I'm not like, I, I'm not mean about it. I don't make it like a scene like, hey, back up. I just like, I peep it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, this person's behind me. He's pretty close. And I look around and I'm like, well, there's a lot of space. Well, that's why I hate going to like some of those like ratchet bars, ratchet clubs and yeah. shit. There's this spot called Sharky's in uh, oh, Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach. Hermosa oh, Beach. So many stories are Hermosa yeah, Beach. Bro. Like, I dated a girl and I remember we went there. We should go to her Sharky's in Hermosa Beach. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. I dated a girl, and then she used to love going to club, but that wasn't my time, my style. And then, uh, and then uh, when I did go with her, you know, I had to deal with like, oh, people coming up to her when she wanted to get a drink, and it was a whole thing, right? I was like, whatever. We went to Sharky's, and then I remember just like she got on the table, she was like dancing on the table, and I, that was like the happiest I've ever saw her, bro. That was her fucking vibe. That was her. her that's what she lived for, dude. But like, you walk through there, and it's so fucking packed, dude. Everybody's like, just came for the beach, sweaty. Everybody just wants to grind on people. People are grinding while you're walking to the to the restroom at the far back, and you gotta like slither through people, and it's fucking disgusting, bro. If you like going there, shout out to you. You know, it's beautiful. But I just hate. That's not my scene. That's not my vibe. It's it's it's, yeah. it's too. It can get too gross. Yeah. People fucking making out, grinding so hard, sweaty as fuck, disgusting. There's fucking drinks on the floor. It's slippery. Stinky it's floor, stinky slippery. Ass, yeah. Stinky ass motherfuckers. Who's yeah. shirtless? Body odor. Fucking people grinding, lifting up their shirt, just fucking. Oh, fuck. That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah, let's go. Let's go, man. Bro, oh man, I remember. <laughs> I, uh, I think I've been I've been there pretty recently, but uh, there was one what? time when I first started when I first started dating my girlfriend. Yeah. I think we were like maybe like fucking like three weeks into our relationship, and I I take her to Sharky's right because she she's never been, and uh, and I get super drunk. I get super drunk. She goes to the bathroom and there's these two baddies like sitting across across the table from me because there's yeah. this long table in the that you could just, it's kind of like a bar yeah. you know the bars at the back. There are two baddies right there, right? And I fucking I'm like drinking my drink and I'm lit, yeah. and I accidentally drop uh, spill it. Oh. And it goes to the the two girls, and they go uh, they go like that, uh, and they 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 don't get wet, but they have to stand up, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, sorry. And they're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit, they're gonna be pissed at me, right? And then my girlfriend comes and she's like, oh, do you spill it? I'm so sorry, my boyfriend, he just got too drunk. Yeah. And I'll never forget the the looks on those two girls' faces when my girl said it was my boyfriend. Yeah. They looked at me like I was. Mentally challenged. <laughs> like, yes. Like, like they looked at me. They looked at me as if, as if I was a rescue dog. Yes. And my girlfriend came and was like, "Sorry, he's a rescue. He's traumatized." And they're like, they're, they looked at my my girlfriend like, <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, I, I was like drunk as fuck. I'm like, I was noticing this, and I'm like, oh, fuck, <laughs> I should a- probably. And I, I was just like, you know, when you get drunk, you start swinging. You're like, yeah. 
I probably should probably start drink some water. <laughs> Fuck. I, no, I, I just embarrass my girl. I feel, like, I feel like I can see that shit. Because that's how you get when you get fucked up, bro. You get all sweaty. Your hair starts coming. You get bangs and shit. Your hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hair your fucking gels yeah, yeah, into your fucking yeah, yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like walking with the hunchback. And you yeah, start... Just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drop it. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop the beer. God, dude, you look like a fucking Adam. That's how I get. But I swear to God, dude, uh, they fucking like it was like their anger just turned to sympathy for for this for my girlfriend. Yeah, and I felt so bad, and I'm just like, fuck. That's why we gotta redo. We gotta you gotta redo that fucking situation. You know what I mean? You gotta go there, and probably when you're you're known as Sharkies at that fucking sloppy ass who you gotta go back to Sharkies. No, I wasn't. You gotta sloppy. go back to Sharkies. Yeah. You gotta re- rebuild that reputation. I actually, I drank, I drank way too much one time at Sharky's, and I, I was like throwing up in the bathroom. Okay. And fucking, I had to go. Uh, I went to go sit on one of the benches because it's pretty beautiful. You sit on a bench overlooking the ocean, and I fell asleep, and I woke up on at sunrise. That's fucking gross. And I just remember. Wait, being, what? Yeah. Because <laughs> they close at two a.m. I woke up at six a.m. and um, and fucking, I, I like, I wake up and I was like, obviously, like a terrible hangover. I check my phone, my wallet is still in my pocket. My shoes are still on my feet. And I'm like, okay, I did good. <laughs> Bro, I was, um, I, I think I was like, this is like when I was, even before I turned 21. Cause yeah. Before, oh, because okay. I would just walk in Yeah. when I was like 18, 19, 20. No one ever carded me. Every yeah. now and then they carded me. But I would just walk in. This was like before I turned 21. This is like, this is when I was just uh, a f- beat, like just a. Just out there, you know what yeah. I mean? In the streets, man. Just just up to no good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Sharky's are most like, super Sharky's fun. Sharky's is fucking awesome, Highly man. recommend. I, and I, there's I, like other like cute little restaurants around it, too. But like, Sharky's is... is a, Sharky's they, they have this thing. I don't know if it's called a Shark Tank or some shit, but it's like this little fucking container with like a bunch of juice, like colorful juices. I forgot what it was called, but it was so Shark good. Tank. It was like Shark Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so fucking good, man. I remember I went to the beach. I went there for all day, drank there. I went to Sharky's. I went to like another bar down the street. That place, listen, they got some good stuff. They got some good vibes. And Sharky's is a little too much for me, but like sometimes you go at the right time it's not too crazy yeah. where you just enjoy the drinks and then fucking it's a good ass time. Go to the beach right afterwards. Yeah. And the beach is beautiful, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the beach is so beautiful. They have like a uh, walkable, huge walkable pier. Really nice, really nice. You know, I, 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 I should I should give those spots a chance. You know, yeah, the Sharkies, yeah. you know? I should try giving it a chance again. Yeah, I, I, think, you, I think you should. I think I think part going to club, depending on the club and the DJ and who you go with. Yeah. I think that it, it could be a really fun time to be had. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people who are like, I don't know how people go to a club. That shit's whack. It's just like, bro, it's just... That's me. It though. depends. It depends on where yeah. you go and who you go with. Yeah. And then likewise, the other people who are like, I don't know how, like, you know, you, you stay home every weekend. It's just, bro, it depends, bro. It yeah. depends. It depends <laughs> where you are in your life and who you're with, you know, and, and, and what you're doing. The, 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 the second reason why I don't like going to bars, I mean, to clubs, is just because I can't hear my friends, man. You know what I mean? Hey, you want to communicate with your Yeah, friends. it's always a like, huh, huh, all of that. You can't really understand what the fuck they're well, saying. Well, you go to clubs for, to dance. You don't go to talk. You go to bars to talk. You yeah. go to clubs to dance. Oh, gosh. I, I like dancing, And right? we've never been dancing together. You know no, because you never, because... You, know, you were going to say you never take me. Fucking <laughs> 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 No, you no, never take me. You never take me. God, you sound exactly like... Fucking, like what? Like nothing, what? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then take me then. Take me. Let's go to night, fool. Oh, it's it tastes good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, one. We can't get blood rate on Monday. <laughs> yeah. one day. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah. So like, I, I've been, look, I've been in bars that dance, and it's fun, right? I like dancing for like five or ten minutes, and then five or ten minutes. And then after that, it's like, okay, can we wrap it up? Like, can we just like go talk and shit, go hang out? Dude. I just, I just like, what do you mean, bro? You gotta dance for like hours straight. Oh dog. no, no, dude, you gotta just, you just gotta feel the rhythm, especially the DJ just playing banger after banger after banger, bro. Okay, how do bro, you dance? You gotta feel it. I just depends on the music. Okay, show me how you would dance to like. Depends on the music. To Drake, to Drake. I I would never dance to Kendrick. Drake. I would never dance. You don't dance to Kendrick. What the fuck? Do it. Yeah, you do. Bro, you don't dance to rap, fool. Yeah, you do. No, hip hop, yes. baby. But to Drake, rap. you dance to Drake though. I know when the hotline bling, I can only see one thing. <laughs> That's like if Drake and Creed had a baby. <laughs> I, I can only the hotline bling. I go and see one thing. Okay, what's a good rap for that? Okay, look, uh, um, no, look, you like so, like Spanish night, like you know Spanish bangers and stuff like that, like you know some Shakira, maybe some Cardi B, maybe some maybe some fucking uh, you know, just I don't like, like Cardi B at all, just like some salsa, like go to salsa night and stuff. Okay, like that. show me because 
I never seen an open body twist in any. Uh, you, you never take me to go dancing, bro. You wouldn't want to go dancing with me. It's hard to get a hold of you, bro. You've never set any any date up. Yes, you, you always like. Oh, me and Jacob are gonna hang out. You want to come? When you know I I fly out the cunch. You know I'm in a different Even city. when you're here, you're just like, I gotta edit. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Why can't we dance here? <laughs> Why can't we dance fucking here? Pitbull, I dance a pitbull. Oh, what, what's the song that he has that's popular that everybody would know? Uh, dude, I mean, he has Crazy, he has 805, he's got uh, Calle Ocho, he's got Holiday Inn, man, he's got... Uh, uh, he's got like a bunch of songs with Neo that are popping, bro. Come on, he's got one with Elvis Crespo that I like a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, listen. I guess Elvis Crespo, bro. So, listen, I, I, I want to dance. <laughs> I want to dance. <laughs> I need to dance. I must dance. So next time we hang out, let's go to a fucking let's go to a bar. Is there are there is there like places you could dance here in BP? A ballpark? Uh, the street? Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, if you're if no, it's not BP. It's Covina. There's this place called Rude Dogs. Rude Dogs. Rude Dogs. Okay. It's next to the Laugh Factory Camino. That's a good spot if like you have a husband, a boyfriend, and you just want to cheat on them, you go to fucking Rude Dogs. If you hate your wife, your kids, you go to Rude Dogs and you cheat on them. What? Dude. So when I was single, I had I had friend like this one girl that I was I wasn't dating, but she like was on and off with the boyfriend all the fucking time all the fucking time. And then she would always like go there. With like a different dude, and this time it was my turn. So we just, she just grinded on me all night. It was dude. your turn. <laughs> it's my dude, turn. Yes. What, yes. what about what about Carl? Put so me I, in, coach. Put, yeah, literally, boom. All right, and then when she started grinding on me, I was like, "What about you know? What about what about Caesar?" He was like, oh, just, "Just don't bring him up." And I was like, "All right, right." And then fucking dance all night and shit. But that's the spot, you know, where a lot of dirty shit happens. You know and why? 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 It's just so grimy. You know, it's a bunch of people that are fucking fucked up. That and the it's kind of like it has like a Sharky's vibe in the sense that people like to get fucking wild and they have no shame in yeah. there. It's like Sharky's, but without the beautiful beach. Yeah, it just uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They just fucking people are lifting each other up, making out, fucking getting sloppy and shit. And if you're there like on wholesome vibes, it might throw you the fuck off and you, it's disgusting, right? But if you're there like you're going through something or a divorce or you like I said, you don't really respect your spouse in any sort of way or your partner. Partner, people go out there and just get down and dirty, man. Get down and dirty. Now I've seen some, yeah, I've seen some shit in there. But other spots around there is nice. And Baldwin Park, six to six to six. I don't think we have anything that's literally in Baldwin Park where you mm. can go dance and shit. Uh, yeah, Royal Lounge. Shout out to Royal Lounge. That's West Covina though. But other than that, I, I, I out there where you are, there's probably a bunch of shit because you know the LA area, or whatever. West Hollywood, I go dancing. Uh, Rocco's is a cool cool place to go dance in. Roscoe's, uh, yeah. No, no, Rocco's. Oh. Rocco's chicken and waffles. No, Rocco's in uh, uh, Santa Monica is really fun. Yeah. D- D- DJs are always amazing there. La Cita in downtown is always really fun. DJs are always oh, great. Oh, La Cita. La Cita. Yeah, La Cita. Uh, but yeah, man, look. Let's go dancing. Maybe we'll do a vlog pod of us going to, da- to, go to the club. What if the intro is us dancing? <laughs> no, that's kind of... That's kind of weird. Huh? I said that is weird. Yeah. That, you like, for real? Yeah. <laughs> for real? Dude? For, for real? Yeah. For real? Oh, good. <laughs> I'll get this part out. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes, listen. One day we will go dancing, yeah. and one day hopefully we'll dance with all of you guys together. You know, we'll get all of us in one place at one time. We'll all dance. We won't grind. I'll grind with my partner. You know, with your partner, <laughs> and then maybe we go like face to face or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like, oh, you're not invited. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you guys if you guys have any recommendations of like uh, places to go dance and have a good time, let us know. Yes. And we'll or do you, let us know. Do you prefer clubbing every weekend or or staying at home every weekend or going to kickbacks or going to house parties or going to bars? What do you guys prefer? What do you guys prefer? I'll say this before we end. I went to a party this t- Saturday, two days ago. It was like a kickback. With all like uh, the guy who uh, hosted it was like a, a like a, the popular kid from BP, right? He's one of those popular kids that as they like, age, they get they're so as beautiful, they're so in shape. He's like very the, the rare anomaly, right? Yeah. Like he's he's fucking handsome, shredded. He's got a beautiful wife, beautiful kids, a beautiful house. You're like, oh shit, you're fucking you're amazing, right? So I saw all these people from BP that I used to go to high school with, right? And it felt like I was like 20 again, and 19, like I was, I'm at a kickback, and I'm like, oh shit, you're here, oh Sarchi, oh fucking this, oh that, oh shit, what the fuck? How have you ever seen you like in 10 years? Oh, what the fuck? It felt, it was fucking awesome, dude. And I wish we could do more of those things. That's why kickbacks to have like, I, I don't wanna, I wish, fuck bars, fuck clubs, I wanna do kickbacks for the rest of my life, baby. 
I need more friends though for that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the older we get, I mean, kickbacks start becoming like dinner parties. Yes, yeah, Oscar parties. No, no, oh. dinner parties, dinner parties. Oscars party, <laughs> couples parties and stuff like that. Yeah, double dates, triple dates, quadruple yeah. dates. Yes, yes, oh. I'd be down. I, I would love that. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. cool. And uh, yeah, but I, I wish we can bring them back. Shout out to uh, uh, Stephen Tell. We went to his house. It was very beautiful. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't yeah. say his name, but it's all positive things. So yeah, that's yeah. not really a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, shout out to BP six or six. Shout out to all of y'all. Uh, I love you. I miss you. Uh, if you this comes out on Wednesday, and we're just gonna stream right after this. So hopefully we'll yeah. make a better. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll do better at updating you about yeah. when we'll stream next time. But we love you. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before we go, before yes. we go, before yes. we go, I just want to go. I know this is, uh, I don't want to end it on a sad note, but I just want to shout out uh, Comic Storian. He's a YouTuber on YouTube that I've been subscribed to for the past 10 years. Oh, shit. He, uh, he, his name, his real name is Ben Potter, but he, go, he goes by Comic Storian. He's like super popular. And uh, he, he basically, he, um, he doesn't review, but he like, he covers comic books. Yeah. So like he reads them out loud and he, he summarizes them and he makes voices and stuff like that. So if you don't have enough time or enough money to buy comic books, you could just watch one of his videos and you'll be caught up. You know oh, what wow. I mean? And it's like super awesome. He, he I, I do it. Literally, I've subscribed to him when I was like 18 years old. Yeah. It's been 10 years. He recently passed away two days ago oh, shit. and it hit me really hard because like I love I love this food. Like I, I one day I wanted to work with him and meet him, but he passed away. Shout out to Comic Storian. Uh, and if you like comic books, dude, subscribe to his channel, and watch his videos. He has hundreds of thousands of videos. So, uh, you can just, you know, he literally covered, he's covered every major comic book, every major story arc, everything like it highly recommend his channel and, uh, RIP comic story. Yes. RIP. We love you. We love you guys. Fucking. I love you. Melvin. Love you too, Joel. Boom. All right, bye. bye.